Hey, hey, we've been on a lot of Segway tours over the years, but never one in Costa Maya. We went as part of a cruise on Royal Caribbean, but many of the cruise lines offer this tour, and I'm guessing they're all using the same vendor. So here's how it went for us. We started off this approximately three-hour tour on a bus ride to the nearby town of Mahawal. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, which took us about 20 to 25 minutes to get there. As with most Segway tours, they have to run it as if no one has been on a Segway before and go through all of the basic training. But if you have done it before, they let you demonstrate your skills. And if you're good enough, you could just go wait across the street for everyone else to finish. Otherwise, you just had to practice for five to 10 minutes while they got everyone set up with all the safety gear and you know, kind of going through the various maneuvers and stuff. So about 75% of our group had used a Segway before, so it was pretty quick. The most challenging riding on the whole tour was at the beginning, with a few speed bumps made out of large ropes that you had to cross over and some potholes to avoid. Once we got past that, it was smooth sailing and we rode down the main walkway of Mahawal, which was maybe a mile or mile and a half or so. Not too long, but enough to see the sights. The main destination was the lighthouse at one end of the town. We took a break, we got some pictures, and we heard stories from our guide about the town and its history. I won't bother recounting it as I don't want to spoil it or misrepresent what was said. It was a great overview though. The second half of the Segway tour was a bit shorter as we needed to go to the spot for the included beach break. We also made the obligatory stop at the shops to check out some wares that were available. Nice things, but nothing I needed. But the beach across from these shops was breathtaking. We should have spent the few minutes we had there walking out to the water. The beach break area was okay, but not really good for wading in. Since we were the last tour of the day, we were limited on time, and there wasn't really any food available since there wouldn't be time to prepare and eat it before we had to get back on the bus to get back to the port. It was pretty, though. The bus got us back just in time to get back to the ship, which was a little stressful, but it all worked out. Since it was an excursion booked through the cruise line, they kind of had to wait, but I didn't want to push my luck. If you want a lower stress and much cheaper excursion in Costa Maya, I would recommend the aviary that's built above the port area. I have a video showing it in detail, and if you want to see a helmet diving excursion that they still offer in Cozumel, there are links to those videos here. I have a lot of cruise videos on my channel. In fact, I made a playlist of them. I'll put that up too. But feel free to look through my channel more if you like what you see here. Stay curious and have a good one.